There are great champions within Dungeons and Dragons, mighty heroes and powerful demigods, but not all of these champions are good. Evil creatures exist and push their agenda and they can be just as powerful. Today, we're going to talk about Malkazid the Branded King, a champion of ruin. Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Let's dive back into some Forgotten Realms lore. It's, it's, it's been a while. Now I've been reading the third edition supplement, Champions of Ruin, links down below, which has a lot of information on certain elder evils that I've been making videos on in the past. Coming to an end of that supplement, there is an outsider named Malkazid, and it struck me as interesting. Now, Malkazid, the Branded King, is a fiend, but was once a Solar, an angel, who served the Seldarin, which is the elven word for the pantheon of elven gods. Now, their leader is Coralon, who had a fling with Lolth before she turned evil. Or maybe she was always evil. Now, Lolth tried to have Coralon murdered and was uh, swaying others to side with her against Coralon. It was Lolth who convinced Malkazid to follow her and rebel against Coralon, which this act became his downfall. Malkazid, for his treachery, was branded on the forehead by Coralon and banished to the Nine Hells. Now, the mark, the brand, if you will, is actually a wound, and it takes the form of a large gash across his forehead that slowly drips blood forever. It's a reminder to Malkazid of his treachery and his inability to return to the Upper Plains. It's a warning to others not to cross Corallon and the Seldarine. Cast down into the Nine Hells, Malkazid fought through the Devils and gained the status of Archdevil. Being lawful evil now and part of the Devil hierarchy, he would take orders from those higher than him, the main one being Asmodeus. Now, something happened between the two of them, and it's undocumented, so we don't really know what. Asmodeus exiled Malkazid from the Nine Hells. Now, most likely, Malkazid tried to rebel against Asmodeus and take his spot as ruler of the Nine Hells. When he was exiled, he had a number of devil followers go with him. Navigating the Lower Plains, he went towards the Grey Waste, or Hades, and set up a domain there. Recruiting Yugaloth that lived there, as well as his faithful devils, his full title expanded, and he was then known as Malkazid the Branded King, Yugaloth Lord, and Archdevil in Exile. But don't worry, I hear if you get to know him well enough, you can just call him Malkazid the Branded King, or even Malk. Malkazid is very powerful, and being a devil, he's clever, hateful, and patient. Not surprising, he really hates Lolth for leading him to the dark side. He also hates and fears Coralon for not showing him mercy. He knowingly does not have the power to be directly confrontational with either Coralon or Lolth. Thus, Malkazid has decided to destroy and manipulate the mortal followers of those deities, the surface elves and the drow. So way back in the very early days of Faerun, Malkazid offered secrets and powerful magic to the elves when they were fighting one another during the first flowering. This was a long, complicated war where various elven civilizations were being manipulated on many fronts, some by Malkazid. Now much later, in 711 DR, during the Weeping War, his minions were crucial in the destruction of Mithdranor, which by 1355 DR, Malkazid positioned himself as the Lord of Mithdranor. Well, he was a hidden Lord of the Devils of Mithdranor, but it was basically just a staging point for him to execute his evil schemes. By 1374, Malkazid was defeated by a very powerful sun elf named a Raven Tashur. These events take place in the Forgotten Realms novel series, The Last Mythal. Current whereabouts of Malkazid? Unknown. He was defeated, but not destroyed, and most likely still remains on Faerun. He is clever though, hiding and waiting are to his advantage. It is rumored that he has spies and followers all over the Sword Coast. They keep an open ear to any disgruntled elves, recruiting those elves for Malkazid's purpose of bringing down the elven race. Malkazid's plans lately have been to instill distrust between the elven kingdoms, getting them to war with one another, and within drow houses, he nurtures free thought 
and the ability to leave Lolth's control, while at the same time encouraging attacks on the surface elves. Hoping to build an army, Malkazid is looking at the Fairy, which are the elven equivalent of tieflings. Now, older editions had tieflings for humans, Fairy for elves, and Tanaruks for orcs. All of those races have a bit of fiendish blood. The Fairy haven't made an appearance in 5e as of making this video. Now, the Fairy came about because there was an idea early on within some elven kingdoms to strengthen their bloodline. They opted to use fiends for some reason and bred with them. This created the Fairy and other Fairy to come about in later generations. However, it proved to be rather disastrous. Who knew that creating half demons within your elven kingdom would be so disastrous? Everybody. Now, some of these fairy and half fiends banded together and formed the loose organization known as the Daemon Fae. Many of the Daemon Fae from long ago, very, very old Faerun, were sealed away magically, but with the destruction of Hellgate Keep in 1369 DR, they were freed. Malgazid has offered his assistance to the Daemon Fae, but they are keen to his desires to subjugate them. Malkazid would like nothing more than to become the leader of these twisted elves, and currently the Fairy are not having it. Yet. Malkazid is a great villain to use for a longer campaign, especially one that involves elves. A behind-the-scenes archdevil that manipulates others to bring about destruction. Now you could use Zariel's stats from Descent into Avernus, or just convert his 3rd edition stats to 5th edition. But his special abilities include Branded Forehead, which looking at him in the face can paralyze you, as well as lower your wisdom score. He has natural weapons with, like, bird claw hands? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. A fear aura and loads of complicated spells. He was a Solar originally, so he has some of those abilities, but obviously now corrupted and super evil. How would you use Malkazid in a game of Dungeons and Dragons? I really want to run an all drow game in the Underdark, in Menzo Berenzin, and Malkazid just might be my villain who tries to turn the drow houses to total war. Now, if you don't know, I created another YouTube channel called Jordan's Jocular Junction, or J3. I wanted a place to upload some videos on tabletop RPGs that aren't D&D that I really enjoy. I just uploaded a video on an introduction to Dungeon Crawl Classics, which is a modern reinterpretation of old school D&D with some different dice mechanics and uh, an exceptional magic system. That channel is really low on subscribers still as it is brand new. So uh, if you're interested in other RPGs that are not d and I would encourage you to go check it out. Now my real life has changed a bunch in the last month. So the video schedule is a little wonky at the moment. And thank you for just understanding and being patient. Consider joining the Discord for updates and Patreon to support the channel and read my various blogs. Links to all my stuff and resources for this video in the doobly-doo. And I'll see you all in the next video.